My little one figured out how to play some of this on the piano. At least the melody of it. It's so cute. <laughs> Trying to teach her how to sing, and she's like, But mom, I'll never sound like you do. It's weird listening to like the original version of this and not the dubstep version of this. <laughs> I'm sure there's a big difference. There is. Like, it's a huge difference. I'm like, I love the dubstep version better though. Have you have you heard it? No, I don't think I have. I'll send it in Discord. Wow, that's a long fucking link. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a great version, though. Bipolar, Purple Helmet Warrior, Scrub Wolf, Master 112, Agus Fang. Thank you guys so much for those hosts. You guys are amazing. Yay, She Monkey. Thank you for that host. I love you. <laughs> love you. I hope he wakes up in time for, like, gameplay afterwards. <laughs> I'm calling you out, Ghosty Pants. Wake up, baby. Syndicate, TL Ranger, Dude Tag, thank you for those hosts. You guys are amazing. Uber Duber, Per Gamer, thank you for those hosts. You guys are amazing. Deb Rocks, thank you for that host. I am the gamer, thank you for that host. You guys are amazing. Wooly Bear, Valiant Boss, what's up, what's up? I am the Gamer, Store Dragon, Smithy BCFC, what's going on? Thank you guys so much for those hosts, you guys are amazing. What's up, Ghost Woodland, how are you doing? That Wooly, nice song, she. <laughs> Atomic Donut, Haley's Comet, thank you for those hosts, you guys are amazing. What's up, Nevi? Dead MK, what's up, baby? How are you doing? Mr. Hambone, Twitchy Ninja, Noe, of course, thank you guys so much for those hosts, you're amazing. Savage Soul Gaming, thank you for that host, hope you're doing well, haven't heard from you in a while. Uh, Ghost Woodland, thank you so much for that host, you're amazing. No worries, Deb, it happens. AJ Games, Big Cronk, thank you guys for those hosts, you're amazing! The Players Club, thank you so much for that tweet! Love you! Play on, player! You guys are gonna love her next song. Retreats to the bushes, no Woolmeyer, get out of my bushes! King of all games, thank you so much for that host! Raging Bagini, thank you for that host, you're amazing! Amber Crown Games, thank you for that host. You're amazing. Thanks for that host, little cuz. Love you. Hope you're having a great time out in that fucking cut or that state over over yonder. Can't believe you <laughs> fucking left me here alone with our family. I'm, I'm disappointed in you for leaving me alone with our family. Our family is fucking whack jobs. 
I love you guys. Killer Wolf, Tickle the Fat. Thank you so much for those hosts. You're amazing. Waiting on your host, Valiant. Uh-oh. Somebody's at the door. I'll be right back. All right. She's going to miss her favorite songs. I choose life. I ain't Nemo. What's up? What's up? You're okay. Your guess what's going on, Woodland? What's the matter? Endeavor's DJ Genetics Snow Angel. Thank you so much for those hosts. You're amazing. When the leader of the bad guys sang something soft and so Valiant Boss, thank you for that host. You're amazing. He must have forgot to close his door. Nemo! He cranked out those dismal cards and his four walls declared him insane. <coughs> <laughs> Welcome back, baby. You just got home, Nemo. Just in time, baby. Merry Christmas, you fucking filthy animal. <laughs> Love you, Valiant. USMC Shadow, thank you so much for that host. You are amazing. Nemo! I love saying your name. <laughs> Leave! I see how you are. Just come in and say hi to she and you don't even say hi to me, you fucking ass. It's <laughs> just super bored. Oh, Woodland, we'll, uh, we'll fix that for you tonight. Leaves! T-W-H-D-O, thank you guys so much for those hosts. You guys are amazing. Oh my god, Endeavorance, thank you so much for that tweet. Love you. Did Leaves call himself a twit? <laughs> Yeah, a high leaves. No way! And it was so fucking cold today. I know you don't have to worry about that where you are, but it was so fucking cold today. Like, you go outside and everything, like, immediately freezes. Like, the. Leaves, thank you so much for that tweet. You're amazing as well. I'm doing good, Nemo. How are you doing, babe? I don't want to hear it, Leaves. Excuses, excuses. Wool, wooly. Yo, wooly. Get out of my bushes. Endeavorance! I love you too, Endeavorance. I know tomorrow's Friday, it's about time. That means I got two more days of work, include, well, three more days. Today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Yeah, I know, Leaves, I already updated it. Thank you. Dragon Raid! Dragon Slayer bot with a Dragon Raid! Oh, damn. Fire, thank you so much for that. Oh, you're amazing. I love those raids. She Monkey, thank you so much for that tweet. You know I love you, girl. I love raids. Dragon, thank you so much for that raid. Just don't come in here and fart on us, baby. <laughs> if you have multiple bushes, I don't think the same zone needs to hear about it, right, Belia? Um, we're actually talking about the bushes outside the window. <laughs> This is not a new account. I know it's Play a Dragon. Ford! What's up, baby? What's up, tall dude? How are you? Noe, thank you so much for that tweet. You're amazing. I'm doing good tonight, tall dude. You must be really tall, right? Are you, are you really tall? I'm, I'm just I'm just guessing here. Me? No, uh, no, tall dude one. So I have to say no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> Baby, I'm balling. Baby, 
on, baby, I'm calling. Everybody, hope you guys are having a fantastic night tonight. I know I am. This is another amazing interview night with She Monkey. We'll get to her in just a second. First, let me say thank you so much to Mr. Han Brolo for that host. You're amazing. Ford Soldier, why were you hospitalized for five days? I have to know this. Like, dude, don't scare me like that. Leafs, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> William, what's going on? How are you doing? Oh, Lord. Um, let's make sure that I got everything. All right. There we go. Only if you brought candy and drinks. All right, guys. So this is what's going on. We have amazing, beautiful She Monkey with us tonight. Who's like moving around. <laughs> I'm trying to get everything settled. You're fine. <laughs> You're absolutely fine. Um, exclamation point victim in the chat will give you all of she monkeys links just before we get started I want to let all of you guys that are watching on YouTube and all of you guys that have never been here before know This is interview night on interview night here in the safe zone. We promote one streamer um, Every day well every day that we do one of these um, We do these so that you guys can get more recognition people can get to know you on a more personal level um, We all know how hard it is to go into a channel that you've never been in before and strike up a conversation. Therefore, we're going to get to know She Monkey on a very personal level. We do this in three parts. The first part is getting to know you as a streamer. The second part is getting to know you as a gamer, uh, a.k.a. Are You Addicted, which we didn't even get to last night. <laughs> we totally just skipped that went straight to question and answer for the last 15 minutes. Um, and then question and answer is at the end. During question and answer, you can ask She Monkey anything you want to ask her. We've had questions anywhere from what color are your underwear to what's your favorite meal to cook. Um, and let's see who is that William uh, 211 991. Thank you so much for that follow Welcome to my half the save zone make sure that you follow my amazing gorgeous stream partner ghost GT 27 He is the other half the save zone that might be sleeping right now But still we love him anyways, so make sure that you give him a follow because <laughs> we do everything together Including the super Mario. What's going on? How are you doing? Maxo relaxo? What's up? What's up? Love you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. So, She Monkey, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, where are you from? I am from Oregon, and I live in Oregon. So, uh, yeah, I haven't made it too far. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, dang it. Hold on just a second. Okay. Sleeping. Yes, Ghost is sleeping. I guarantee it. He is sleeping. I tried to call him for like a half an hour. Super duper. I love that you're super duper. That that hype is amazing, Super Mario. Make sure, of course, you guys all hit exclamation point victim in the chat. Yeah, ghost is passed out. Passed out. Almost as exciting as yours. I miss you too, Ford. Are you okay? Like what happened? I didn't see if you answered me or not. But I need to know what happened because we were worried about you. What's up, Boomer? What's up, LC? What's up, what's up? Drunken Lycan, how are you doing? She will be right back, Maxo. Right back. We just have to give her a second. She had to go do something. Who knows? 
Who knows what she had to do? We'll ask her when she gets back. She she is amazing though. If you guys don't follow her, you are fucking up. Wait, what happened? What do you mean, dead? What happened with what? I hear stuff. You collapsed at work and you had a 103.7 fever. Hyperventilated with a bit of chest pain. Apparently a lot of stress can do that. Fucking A. Ford. Oh my god, dude. Are you alright now? Jake Hudson, thank you so much for that host. You're amazing. Yeah, hopefully you're okay now, because holy shit, dude. That's not good, Ford. That's not good at all. Friday to Tuesday. Damn, dude. Nah, man, that's not good. We hope we hope you feel better and that everything goes okay for you. Like, next time, don't fucking stress yourself out so much, man. We need you around. We have to have you here with us. Deficit! Venom, thank you so much for that host. You're amazing. Getting a bit better. Jesus, dude. I, man, for it, that's bullshit. Yeah, I'm still on camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm still on camera, Jesus. <laughs> totally not fucking up. I followed her for my first stream. Yes, that's awesome, Noe. Holy fudge! Keep it up. Nice job. Yeah, that wasn't inconvenient or anything. Oh my god. Um, that, uh, my, my apartment manager had to come in and take care of something in my roommate's room. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so I apologize so much for that. No worries. No worries at all. Maxo, relax it with a $50 donation, dude. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Aww, so cool. Um, I have to take a shot for you. So if you want to join me in shots, you absolutely can because I know how much you love to drink. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much for that. Oh, my God, Maxo. That's fucking amazing. I, I love you, dude. You're amazing. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I have to say, all of these donations that I'm getting right now are going toward my birthday. And if it gets filled up, we're I'm I'm gonna go to Wisconsin to be with Ghosts for my birthday. Cause who else would I want to be with than my best friend on my birthday? Exactly. Right? And I mean, we're gonna do. Hey, Mr. Wilson! Oh my God, it's been forever, dude. How are you doing? Um, but we are going to do, and she, you're going to love this, we're going to do a cooking stream while I'm there. Nice. And I, I already figured it out. We're going to do it in two parts. We're going to do him cooking and me saying, oh, God, no, 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 oh, God. And him going, when I'm cooking, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you, I don't understand. Can you really do this? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. How do you cut an onion when you cut one up? Like, if you're going to dice an onion up, how do you do it? Personally. Uh, personally yeah you how do you cut up an onion uh, you, you hold on to the furry side and you you slice it <laughs> well see yeah ghost is in wisconsin um well see the way that i was taught is you hold on to the furry side and my mom's like the furry side i think it's funny but you hold on to the furry side and then you cut it like if the onion is here you cut it this way and then you rotate it and you cut it this way so that it has like little slices in it. And then you cut it this way so that you get like perfect little dices. Ghost is looking at me and he's like, why, why are you doing that? And I'm like, well, it takes less time to cut it. So it's less burning in your eyes. And he's like, I don't understand. Why, <laughs> why are you doing it like that? I didn't know you could do this. And I'm like, yeah. Like, this is how, so this is, this is how it's going to be for us. Midnight Princess, what's up? How are you doing? Oh, God. Yeah, so, like, the whole time that, and, and it was even funnier, because, like, I made him, um, see, when I was out there before Thanksgiving, I made him jalapeno poppers, 
And like with jalapenos, when you, when you cut them in half, and then you go to like scoop the shit out of the inside of it, you need to hold it down and away from you and scoop it really slowly with a spoon all the way down, right? And he's like, why do you do that? And I'm like, because that's the way it's supposed to be done. He goes to cut his up and he takes it. He's just going like this with the spoon in him. And he gets squirted in the fucking eye with jalapeno juice. And he's like, oh, fuck. And I'm like, that's why you do it the way I do it. And he's like, oh. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. So that's what it's going to be like. It's going to be amazing. But, Has Ghost never watched Food Network? I mean, I, mean, I made him I made him watch uh, The World's Worst Cooks with me. Nice. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Hold on, what? Dope. When the onion's cold, it won't make you cry. Yeah, if you put it in the freezer for like a few minutes beforehand, it works out really well. But these are all the things that I need to, to teach Ghost so he doesn't kill himself. Uh, she monkey <laughs> sounds like a good plan. She monkey, I worry about the boy. He's gonna kill himself. He, he is. He... Uh, that's why he should stick to microwave only for now. Yes, for now. For now, until I move out there, and then I'm just gonna be like, "Here's your dinner." <laughs> Dark winds. Oh my. <laughs> All right, so what made you start streaming? Um, it was actually um, the group I was a part of, um, World Star Gaming, mm -hmm. which is a friend of mine who decided he wanted to start a company that promotes gamers. Um, and he brought me along because I'm the web designer in his life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, worked on that forever. Um, it is up and running, worldstargaming.com. Um, I'm the only one that runs it, so I'm quite behind. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Um, but, yeah, the whole goal is just to promote gamers, and I was trying to figure out, you know, what are gamers doing, and I stumbled upon Twitch. <laughs> and uh, I fell in love with it instantly. I love the, the live aspect of it the, the interactive of the chat and the the live stream so yeah i i just kept getting further and further into it until uh the guy that runs world star gaming had me take over because i knew more than he did <laughs> <laughs> i can believe that i mean you know a lot of times if you're gonna design everything and you're gonna do the research you're gonna know more so, um, who, do you remember who the first person was that you ever watched on Twitch? Um, I can't remember who the first was. When I first started, I, the only game I had was, um, Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 3. Right. So I started out on Twitch looking for Black Ops streamers. And there was a couple that I found that were good, um, and I unfortunately fell in with the wrong group and got a very bad impression of Twitch for the first couple weeks for a while there. Very ego-based, very much so the reason you started the safe zone. Right. Um, <clears throat> which is why I was so happy when... I, I think Ghost was actually one of the first people I followed, but I, I was still bouncing around a lot, so it was like a month and a half or so after I got into Twitch that I really started watching and I realized the difference in the communities mm -hmm. and I fell in love with Twitch again so <laughs> that was kind of nice. I'm, I'm glad we were able to instill that in you because I mean of course you know that's the whole reason that we started this is we want the Twitch experience to be better for everybody. We Yeah and I, I didn't like how you couldn't even say the like accidentally say the wrong thing or you'd get you know banned or timed out or you know, whatever the the owner of the stream preferred to punish their people for talking about themselves. Right. Right. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, and I see your kitty. And t today, yes. I, you don't have me on Snapchat. And I was so sad that I didn't have you on Snapchat because I mm -hmm. sent... I sent out a video, like, I was at my mom's and I have a pixie bob there. Yeah. Um, and a Maine Coon mix. So, like, the Pixie Bob is huge, but the Maine Coon, like, doubles his size, obviously. <laughs> and 
the Maine Coon really doesn't like water as much as the Pixie Bob does. The Pixie Bob loves water. Like he loves it. He'll he'll jump in the bathtub with Bug when she's taking a bath or he'll like get in and he, like he knows how to turn the water and stuff on and it's hilarious. So I was uh switching my mom's laundry over for her and of course um Buddy's my Pixie, he comes up and he gets up on the sink and he looks at me and he meow. And I'm like, what do you want? Do you want the water on? Meow. And I'm like, okay. So I turn the water on for him and he like sticks his head underneath it. And he's like, blah, blah, blah. and he's like playing in the water and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I want to send this to Shea Monkey. And I'm like, I don't have her on freaking Snapchat. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a Snapchat. <laughs> well, I mean, if I had a way to send it to you, I would have. I would have because it was it was brilliant. It, he was pretty funny. I was laughing pretty hard. RPG or RP Glory and Moby, thank you guys so much for those hosts. You're amazing. Yeah. Apparently, he realizes I'm on camera and wants to be the center of attention. So uh, Grizzly does that too. Like he <laughs> will leave Ghost alone for hours. But then as soon as, like, I call him, or as soon as he gets on stream, Grizz is like, pay attention to me! Genocide Priest, thank you so much for that host, you're amazing. Uh, he's just mad at me because I, I had to run to my office earlier today. Yeah, uh, five freeways and highways later. <sighs> uh, that's why I was late. <laughs> it happens. Uh, but he doesn't like being alone, especially since I work from home. I'm, I'm usually here. Mm -hmm. So being gone for a couple of hours made him very needy. Mm. Of course, I see he's a parrot too. Yes. Yeah. He is part bangle, mm -hmm. so he doesn't act like a normal cat most of the time. Right. Do you do you have room in your house for uh, one of the uh, exercise wheels? I don't, but I so need to find something like that. I actually have a cat tree coming tomorrow for yeah. him, so I'm looking forward to him figuring that out. I just hope it doesn't knock it over. Uh, I tried to find one with a wide enough base that he couldn't knock over. Right. Well, the <laughs> one that I got for Ghost, the base of it's huge because I know how but or how Grizzly is. He's very energetic. Um, yeah. My parents made one out of like plywood and two by fours and put it on wheels so that they could like move it all over the house. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, yeah, and I know that you have, a, like, a major love for cats because you even have a a bot in your channel, in your Discord channel, that posts cat memes every day. Yeah, I, I do like that. There's a couple of the bots that do it, but I like the reliable ones that whenever I just need a, a pick-me-up, I can just do the, the cat command and come on. <laughs> oh, Midnight Princess, no worries. We understand completely. <laughs> Phantom Rogue, what's up, baby? How are you doing? Make sure that you guys are all hitting exclamation point victim so that you could follow She Monkey on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. I didn't put the other site on here because I didn't know what it was. No. The, the gamer one. I can add that if you want me to. I just didn't know what it was. So I didn't no, know. it's okay. It's in sore need of updating. Yeah, right? <laughs> Realist, what's going on? How are you doing? Thank you for posting that. Leaves. Um, and if any of you guys feel like going into, I don't give a shit what channel in Discord, just spamming the fuck out of at ghost. Um, maybe he'll wake up. I tried calling him for literally like an, a half an hour solid. He didn't wake up. We know how he is, though. We, we ghosty pants is a sleepyhead. Yes, my my ghosty pants is t definitely a sleepyhead. But I mean, he has so much pain that it's hard to sleep. So I yeah, understand. I yeah, I have the same problem. Um, so how long has it been that you've been streaming? Um, since August, I've been streaming, mm -hmm. but I've been a gamer from way back. So this was just more of a social experiment of doing it on camera <laughs> right um have you always streamed with your camera or did you start out without it or i very initially started out without it um but one of the tips that i kept seeing what or that i kept getting from people was that people want the camera and i don't know that was a hard uh, hurdle for me to go through because i'm not an on-camera person. I'm a behind-the-scenes person, you right. know. I'm, 
in high school, I took three years of stagecraft, but dropped out of drama in two days. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> that's funny. That's absolutely funny. What are you drinking? Whiskey Coke. <laughs> nice. Whiskey Coke to wash down the shots of cinnamon whiskey. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. For those of you guys that don't know She Monkey very well, most of the time, She Monkey is such a great supporter of the Save Zone that she watches us from the bar. On a regular basis. Now, the people at the yeah. bar have to think you're nuts for doing it, but... Well, when I'm sitting at the bar, it's really not that big of a deal. The, the only problem is I usually don't have sound. <laughs> so I can watch and I can, you know, chat along, but uh, it's hard to, you know, get the punchline sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what the fuck just happened? I don't know what they're talking about. Why is everybody spamming this right now? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, what are we celebrating? <laughs> yeah, who did what? I missed that. That's funny. And we appreciate it. We absolutely appreciate it. We've had people watch us from the grocery store. Um, nice. I had one guy that, that I, I can't remember who it was. It was a long time ago. He was at like Kroger's and he was walking around Kroger's with the stream up on his phone and we're like talking to people <laughs> that are walking past him and shit. Nice. We're like, hey lady in the milk department, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, next time I go grocery shopping, if, if you guys are on, I, I will, you know, bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> have the volume on so we be like, we love Kroger. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's amazing. Contractor, thank you so much for that host. You're amazing. Oh, I need to think of somewhere I can go that I can get a discount for you shouting them out. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, where can we go? Somebody want to give me a free shot because you're being talked about online? Yeah, right? <laughs> I was like, they're talking about you. You want to hear? That's amazing. Like, There's a bunch of people watching. It's going to be on YouTube, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, so, what kind of a setup do you run on? Oh, my goodness. Um, I have two different laptops. One's my work laptop that I use more than I should because it runs a little faster. But I, I download everything that I need to download on my personal one. Yeah, it, it's a little complicated the way I set up my system. <laughs> Um, the, it was a lot easier when I was just doing the Xbox, because uh, I, I used the Xbox app and just streamed it to my computer and used OBS that way. But as soon as I started doing the creative streams, oh my goodness, more than one camera hooked up, and that made it a lot more difficult. I can imagine. Um, yeah, I... My donation goal at the moment is to aiming towards a new computer setup, just so I can have everything on a decent computer that's not blogged down with everything else. Because the one I'm using right now is my school computer from four years ago, five years ago. Aww. So not only is it old, but uh, it is bogged down with all my school stuff. <laughs> uh. So my goal right now is to just get something that I can dedicate just to the to the streaming aspect of things and, you know, take the load off of everything else. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm probably going to butcher this, but uh, Lianca, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to my half the save zone. Make sure you follow Mr. Sleepy Pants, my amazing stream partner, Ghost GT27. He's the other half of the save zone, the sleeping beauty half of the save zone. Without him, none of this would be possible. Um, Vass and the Bolt, thank you so much for those hosts. You guys are amazing. So you got into doing these creative streams. Why don't you tell um, some of the people in here a little bit about what kind of stuff that you create when you're doing these? Um, I have been doing scratch board which is it's like this um it's like cardstock mm -hmm. that has um like a clay layer to mm -hmm. it and um scratch off the layers and you get uh, the shiny white stuff underneath and let me grab one that i just finished <clears throat> so what started out is you know nothing 
scratched off the black. Jesus. That is just incredible. And like you're my, my pirate ship. I'm in awe of your artwork. Like I'm in awe of it. It's just Yeah, I, I've been doing a lot of random stuff lately, like just trying to figure out what I'm most comfortable doing. Mm -hmm. Um like I've been doing a lot of uh video game characters, cartoon characters, um Master Chief. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um animals of course um i've tried i've been trying to work on tributes but i'm not very good at people that's actually supposed to be alan rickman <laughs> right on you might want to move them so, over a little bit like right in front of your face so that it's in the center so people can see them a little bit better that's amazing uh, go, er i'm not very good at faces though but uh critters are easier right oh yeah that's amazing like i love it i i mean i'm an odd i i bought um buggy loves those the little scratch yeah. offs but being seven she gets the you know the ones that are already kind of like pre-lined with the little wooden scratcher that comes with them oh yeah. yeah and she hates it she's like i'm so horrible at this that's awesome that's actually for a friend of mine mm. Leaves wants the Master Chief, but you're going to have to fight Ghost over it. Um, what I'm trying to do is um, get up a good collection of these mm. so that when I hit uh, 300 followers, which I'm less than 40 away, um, when I hit 300 followers, I'm going to start doing like giveaways and um, do commission pieces for any subs I have. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. K-State Black Knight, thank you so much for those. Host, you're amazing. Uh, no, Leafs. No. Ghost claimed it first. Right, she? I have more than one Master Chief, and he's definitely one I'm going to be coming back to. Um, he's a character I love. I mean, I've, I've loved Halo since the beginning. So um, he's definitely a character I come back to. I've been trying to find a good um, Cortana to do. But I have not found one that I'm happy with yet. So um, sooner or later, well, I'll have a Cortana one too. That's amazing. I can't wait to see them. Like I, I go into the creative channel and I see all this stuff and I'm just like, seriously? Really? Like I, it, it runs in my family. That's the only way I can explain that I can get away with doing some of this stuff. It's just it runs in my family. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any of your other pictures you want to show off? Um. Oh wow. Pika pika. Yeah, I'm sure there. I'm sure there's somebody that would like that. But Arcane would jump all over that if he was here. <laughs> wow. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh, right? That is actually Link from Zelda. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. The, oh, my God. I know Ghost wants those. Like, he wants that one bad. He saw that one yeah, when no. we were talking, and he's like, I got to have it. I, he's like, it's amazing. Yeah, there's definitely a couple of them that I'm quite proud of, like this yeah, one. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but I haven't quite picked a, a theme yet. <laughs> They're all pretty random. I just uh, kind of look around to go for inspiration. Wow. Buggy would trip over the Futurama one. She calls it future drama. <laughs> mm, Superman. That's awesome. Now, there's definitely some that have turned out pretty good. I, I have got a couple of people that want this one. Wow. And when I do um, finally give them away or um, w whatever I end up doing with them, they will be um, the originals, uh -huh. not prints. Um, yeah, they will be one of a kind no matter what when I do start giving them away. All right, but, Arcane, uh, you better. Uh, Kia King and Ghost Man, thank you so much for those hosts. You're amazing. Ar Arcane yeah. is drinking some uh, Guinness. And nice. as soon as Arcane is done with his Guinness, he, he, you're going to get your uh, commercial. Um, and Endeavorin said her boys would love the Pika. That's amazing. I just... 
Do you ever do the ones that have like the rainbowed backgrounds? I think you should do like a unicorn or something on one of the rainbow background ones. I've actually, last night, about, well, not last night, this morning at 3 o'clock in the morning when I couldn't sleep, I was on Amazon looking for more paper, and um, I found some great ones. Not only the rainbow ones, but ones where the cardstock was different colors, so I can do, like, the, the black on red or green. Wow. So I'm looking forward to those ones. That's going to be incredible. I didn't know that they yeah, had it with a different a, background. I was a green one with... Um, with Master Chief on Ooh. it, you know, Ghost would be partial to uh, Ghost would kill for that one. I know, if only he was awake. Ghost. Ghost, wake up! <laughs> Here, let's, uh... Let's, let's see about this real quick. I've sent him multiple messages. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Let's see about this. He's still sleeping. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him to wake up. He needs to wake up. You subbed to him. He should be awake for this. Like, I've been calling him forever. He should wake the fuck up. Nope, he's not gonna wake up. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Vigo, thank you so much for that host. You're amazing. Ghost, thank you so much for that host. You're amazing as well. Even though I know that was your bot that did it, because we both know you're sleeping because you didn't answer your phone. Damn bot. Why are you sick? Heavily medicated all day. That actually sounds like fun. Yeah, right? I mean... <laughs> Evil! You're up! That was you! Oh my god, ghost! It's about time. Good morning, sunshine. Hey, ghost, 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 did you, did you just hear what she said? She's going to do a Master Chief on a green plat or background um, so that you could drool over it. Because <laughs> you need to drool over it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he, you know, he will. I know your alarm's been going off for an hour. No, it's been going off for two hours because it goes <laughs> off at six o'clock and it's eight o'clock now. So, it's been going off for two hours, all right? Two hours, ghost. Two hours. Not just one, dear. That's all right. I love you. Thank you so much for your host. You know, I'm, like, so excited when you're here. You spammed him family chat? Of course you did. Um, Leaves got timed out by Discord for spamming you, ghost. Nice. Yeah. That, that takes skill. That's impressive. <laughs> Yeah, it's been going off for two hours, and I called you for, like, a half an hour solid, so bleh. All right, so <laughs> what makes your stream different than anyone else's? Um, that's a, that's a toughie, because I'm not sure it is all that different, but um, I think my goal might be a little different. I'm not at all interested in being a big streamer, because, I mean... Believe it or not, this is hard for me, the, the being on camera right now. Um, it's not something I'm used to. I'm not used to putting myself out there. I was raised to be very reserved. So, I mean, this is kind of interesting for me. Um, but I, I love the industry, and I want to be more of a part of it. And I think to better understand the back end, I need to be a part of the front end. Too. Exactly. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> That's awesome. Hold on, I can't hear anything for a second. We don't have to go well. Wow. Ghost just entered the stream, of course. I'm, I'm glad you're awake, Ghost. We were worried that you were going to wake up in time. GG, mate. GG. <laughs> the chill zone. Nope. What? Um, so, what, what exactly are you looking to do with the back end of it then? Um, I love making graphics for people. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, that's a lot of it. Um, not only graphics, I, I like um, kind of the management side of things because, well, like, when I build a website, I deal with more than just the graphics. I have to deal with the content, and occasionally I have to deal with the blog or you know, social media or things like that. And I like 
I like being able to contribute what I know to something that's exciting to participate in. And, you know, Twitch and video games and all that kind of stuff has really contributed to that. Uh, I mean, for the first time in so long, instead of working 60 hours a week, I work my 40 and then I play. I mean, that that's a big deal for me. <laughs> I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't be. It's it's always nice to do something that you enjoy. Um, yeah, it, it was it was hard though, because like a week after I graduated college, after three years, I mean, it took me three years to get a two year degree because I spent an extra year in journalism. I mean, I got a web design degree and uh, uh, spent two years on the school newspaper, so it it kind of dragged things out. Um, but I think I have a very collective experience that I just, I love utilizing. I mean, that's why I went to school for what I did is because I love doing what I do. I just want to do it for people that it's more fun to do it for. Right. And, and that's, that's a lot of the reason why I, you know, hey, look, I like your name. I'm just going to make you some fancy graphic to go with it. <laughs> yeah, I have a, uh, I have a fault. A file called um, fan art. Um, yeah, I have several of those. Yeah, I, I have a file called fan art that it literally. Um, here, let's see. It's under picture. No, it's not under pictures. I have to figure out where the fuck I put it. Um, I don't know where I put it. But yeah, it has so many pictures in it that's like yours. <laughs> um, I, I like just finding some inspiration and running with mm -hmm. it. Um, I mean, whether or not, like, when I'm at work, I get paid for it. But the inspiration sucks. I mean, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how much... I can inspiration I can pull from a real estate agent in North Carolina or something. You know, it's uh, I like the gaming aspect. I like um, the fun aspect that it's something that I know about and can contribute to not just in the graphic sense, but uh, the the context of what it's going for. That's awesome. All right, you ready for your commercial? Okay. And if you act right now, you'll get the exclusive She Monkey Ghost, the exclusive exclusive She Monkey Lamp, the exclusive She Monkey Console Skin, exclusive She Monkey Brand Whiskey, the exclusive oh, no, She Monkey Baseball Hat, and exclusive She Monkey 12K Gold Plated Bust, the exclusive She Monkey Action Action Figure. And the She Monkey exclusive art set. And if you act within the next 10 minutes, you will receive the exclusive She Monkey Cuddler Pillow. Now you too can cuddle with She Monkey complete with gold. Very nice. Arcane, you're a legend. Tear phases. <laughs> now, well, I have to say, my bust is not 24 karat gold. Um, I mean, we can play it in gold. <laughs> but as for a cuddle monkey, I. If anybody, you know, was in Discord around Christmas, they saw my four-foot tall monkey. Yeah, yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. mm, it was huge. We love it. It was huge. It's huge and impressive. It is impressive. Very <laughs> impressive. I love how you say that, too. Look, Kia, I want the cuddle pillow or pillow with a ghost hat. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> That's funny as shit. All right, cheers, darling. So, for those of you guys that are just joining us, x Point Victim in the chat. Because um, she's taking shots of whiskey and drinking whiskey and Coke. Who needs a chaser? I mean, goodness. Yeah, right? But what's even funnier is you're drinking it out of a straw. I always use a straw. <laughs> That's funny. Um, funny story. The night that I met Ghost, and I know that you've heard that it was during a call for shot night on Call of Duty. It was on. Which I would be horrible at. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I mean, it, a lot of people are. Bipolar! What's up? 
Okay. Even sober, I end up in the bottom three. So, uh -huh. yeah. You're like, I'm not going to do that. So no. here, here's... I'd rather take a shot for when I win. Here, Here's the thing. Um, so uh, it was a call for shot night with Ghost. And his brother was playing with him. And his brother just happened to be streaming at the same time. So, like, I had his brother's channel open as well. Mm -hmm. And... Like, I kept going in there every time he had to take a shot. And his brother was taking drinks out of, like, a cup with a straw. He wasn't taking shots. So, ever since then, he's been labeled a cheater. Love you, E. Just saying. I, I can take shots, no I'll problem. I'll love you, E, but, but you're still a what cheater. The, the whiskey I put in here uh, is a lot cheaper than the whiskey I shoot. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to take shots of that shit. Like bipolar, she monkey. Hi, bipolar. Ooh, that excitement. Ooh, <laughs> that's awesome. So, what has your biggest hurdle been with streaming? Um, turning the camera on was the biggest hurdle. Um, <laughs> how did you get past it? Um, at first, lack of viewers. <laughs> <laughs> when nobody's sitting there watching you, uh, it's a little easier to turn the camera on and say hi. <laughs> um, I think part, of, actually a lot of it was finding the safe zone. Because I found a group that are more like me. I mean, before, for some reason, I was under the impression that most streamers were like 14. <laughs> So, um, to realize that uh, I'm not alone, uh, I'm not um, too old, I'm not uh, too whatever, um, made me think that it was okay to turn the camera on. <laughs> and then um, when I started to get viewers because of the, the safe zone, I felt like I knew these people a little bit, so it, it made it a little easier to you know, talk to them. <laughs> right. And that's one of the reasons that we do these interviews. Um, a rising gamer. Thank you. And Stephanie K, thank you guys so much for those hosts. You're amazing. Um, and I just missed a follow. Where did it go? Uh, Chaos BMW. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to my half the save zone. And make sure that you follow my amazing, adorable stream partner, Ghost GT27. He is the other half the save zone. The better half the save zone. Without him, this would not be possible. When we're done with this interview with exclamation point victim she monkey here, um, we're gonna go over to Ghost Channel and they're gonna play some fucking Master Chief Collection Halo, which is gonna be amazing. Why, damn it, leaves what? Ghost says the camera's scary. Really? You're not scared of the camera, Ghost. Haha, <laughs> I'm not lying. He is not scared of the camera. He he is adorable and everybody he must have missed He must have missed the part where I said I dropped out of drama class in two days. Yeah, well, I mean, he did sleep for the first <laughs> hour of your interview. You can tisk tisk him. All you tisk tisk. Um, and go said, are we playing Halo or Titanfall? I want to play Titanfall. I was only able to play two matches last night and... Yeah, I want to play more. Okay. Chaos! As long as you follow both myself and my amazing stream partner, Ghost, you could use all of our shout-out commands. Um, yeah, if it's on sale, Titanfall was only $24 yesterday. Fuck you guys. I wish I could play it with you guys, but no! No, I have a PC, and I can't play any amazing games with you guys because y'all are fucking Xbox streamers. Almost died in speech class. Ghost, when I took drama class, the first day was all introductions. So the second day, I went, they pulled everybody up on stage, and they said, okay, by yourself, with nobody else around, you're going to belly crawl across the stage. No. For one, I had already been on that stage for a year working on it behind the scenes, and I knew how dirty it was <laughs> but to seriously belly crawl across the stage in front of 50 people i couldn't do it 
So I went to my counselor and switched to musicianship, and I can read music pretty damn well. So um, <laughs> it's a toss-up, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't do it either. I, it was just like, wait, th this is the embarrassment you want to put me through on the second day? I mean, give, give me something to build my confidence first. I, mean, I took public speaking, and I made it through it, and I got an A because the teacher liked me. But I sucked at it. So, I mean, I, I didn't really get confidence talking in front of people until, God, I was probably 19 or 20. I mean, I couldn't even, I was so shy when I was little, painfully shy. Like, I couldn't order for myself in a restaurant until I was about 17. Before then, I would just, like, tell the person I was with what I wanted, and they would order for me. I mean, I painfully shy <laughs> so yeah that that's why some of this is just such an, a social experiment for me just to kind of put myself out there and see what happens see if i can handle it and go from there <laughs> well, i mean it's helped a lot of people i mean it really has which is an experience that a lot of people don't understand that people that uh, like i i've talked to thousands and thousands of streamers and I could say at least half of them have said that they have social anxiety and they use Twitch as a method to get past it, um, which is amazing. Um, and what's up, Chaos? How are you doing? Um, call for food? Oh, what? Why would you call for food? I mean, really? Yeah, internet works. I, I've been addicted to the internet since about I was about twelve or thirteen, like to the point where it was AOL dial-up, the AOL two point five dial-up. Mm. And when I was grounded, my mom would change the password. And you know, if I tried to you know hack the password, when she got home from work, she'd put her hand on top of the computer to see if it was warm. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, my mom knew very quickly how to punish me, and that was to take away the internet. Um, but those old days of AOL are actually part of the reason I think I like Twitch so much, is the chat part of it. I mean, I learned how to type, you know, 70 to 100 words per minute because of having to keep up in AOL chat rooms. So, Twitch chat rooms are nothing for me. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's, that's pretty funny. I mean, like, um, my interactive gaming before I had a computer good enough to do, you know, online multiplayer, before Xbox Live, before any of that, it was AOL chat rooms and text-based IPG, or RPG. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. That's, but that's how I got so good at writing, though. Right? I mean, what kind of I've, what kind of content do you write? I've written anything from flash fiction, you know, less than a thousand words, uh, to I've actually got a novel. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> novel. Awesome. With. <laughs> With graphics, mind you. Yes, I made the cover graphic. That's amazing. Have you have I'm you gone to designer. get it published? Um, it needs a revision. I'm actually planning on splitting it into two books. Um, from the feedback I've gotten, um, I've submitted it to about fifty literary agents and have gotten some feedback that way. And yeah, I'm gonna be basically tearing it in two. Awesome. So it's a it's a labor of love, but um, I love being able to write that way. I mean, this this story, um, I, I've given a couple of bits and pieces to a couple people. At least one might be in the chat here. Um, it's in a, in some ways like heroes and alphas mm -hmm. meets like um. Master Chef. <laughs> There's a strong food aspect to it, oddly enough. <laughs> That's funny. 
It's very funny. Um, when I started writing it, um, it, I never thought I could write something like that, like that long, to an ongoing story. But it was after reading a bunch of book series, you know, um, anything beyond like, three books, that I realized that when I told whatever story I wanted to tell, it didn't have to be the end. And that's what inspired me to be able to write it, was not having to end it. <laughs> so, you know, I set a goal for myself and ended up passing it by almost 40,000 words. And I wrote that in nine months. So, um... That's, that's incredible. I, uh... I had some poems that were published when I was younger, like when I was in high school, had quite a few poems that were um, published. But like I've always been in the music industry and I've always been in the music world. So um, they were like the really short poems that couldn't be turned into to a novel or into songs. Um, but most of my shit that I've written have always been turned into a song, so... Yeah. And Ghost is kind of pissed I did because I don't have anything quite published. I when I was in high school. The poetry? That's awesome. I did, po I did poetry quite a bit when I was in high school, and I got into... Because my high school was only 10th through 12th grade, so it was only three years instead of two, or four. And, um... I got into the literary magazine two out of three years. And the second year, it was like last minute, I submitted four pieces and all of them got accepted. That's amazing. Because I, I left my flash drive at home and didn't have any of it. <laughs> That's So I kind of wrote everything during lunch and uh, submitted it and they took it. And that's been great. And I love some of the poems I did, but I got weird reactions from them. I mean, I, I'm very descriptive when I write, mm -hmm. and they were taken wrong. They were taken more dark than I intended, and I ended up getting some weird uh, feedback, like um, people have, uh, asking if I was okay. <laughs> and it's just the descriptions that I was trying to grab onto when I was writing that stuff, they weren't necessarily dark, but the way I was telling it was. I mean, I... I had a lot of inspiration from like Poe and stuff like that, so it was dark, but it wasn't like, are you okay? Kind of dark. <laughs> <laughs> Play a dragon, thank you so much for that host, you're amazing. Um, so after that I kind of laid off poetry and went for short stories and stuff like that, something where I can add more of a narrative that could be funny, right. light, the, the sarcastic, sardonic person that I am, esoteric humor, you know, I love that kind of stuff. So I just needed to find the right outlet for it, and I'm still working on it, but um, I definitely love fiction writing. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, Poe was amazing. Um, Super Mario, thank you so much for hanging out. Make sure that you drop She Monkey a follow before you go, and I will see you on the other side. When is your mixtape dropping? Um, never. <laughs> I refuse to record it. I don't allow people to record me in shows. I know there have been, um, there was one show that it made it to YouTube, but thank goodness I caught it and made them take it down. I'd love to hear you at least once, and I still want my own personal you know, uh, sound bite that says, hey, baby, hey. Uh, I have um, <laughs> one that I gave to Ghost. Uh, I would love that just because, I mean, <laughs> Let's see. the way you say it is like so the way it should be said. <laughs> like this. Hey, baby, hey. <laughs> That's my sound bite <laughs> that I gave Ghost. So if you go into Ghost Channel, if in it's not a command that everybody can use, but it's one that I use that I just type in XWH point HBH, and it comes up with, "Hey baby, hey." <laughs> exactly. I mean, you've got the great voice to be able to say that. I mean, <laughs> not everybody can get away with saying that and have it just sound that cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. I mean. 
I, I don't know that I could give you that one because I did that one just for ghosts. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there was a different inclination when you said it. <laughs> Not everybody's going to get the same love. <laughs> well, I mean, he's my partner. I have to show him more than everyone else. Of course. Ghosty Pants deserves it. Hey, that's my name for him. <laughs> I know, but I can't think of a good name to call him that, you know, is just as fun. <laughs> it's just as fun. I'll send it to you again, Ghost, because you yeah, chomp. Um, here. Which is gone now because the PC died. Of course. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the PC dying. I'm laughing because I'm trying to get my boss to buy me a new computer, which if I ever send him the link to this video, damn it, you owe me a new computer. Um. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Sorry. All right, Ghost, I just sent it back to you so you have it now, so no more excuses. No more excuses. So, I think I may need to get more ice for my drink. Oh, no. Our, I, I mean, oh, Lord. Look at that. It's why is just water shit down, though. How about that? There, go fix your drink. Ghost, you're not changing your Twitch name. What are you changing your Twitch name? I, I gave Ghost you that Pants. name for a reason, Ghost. You can't. No, that's my name for you. Everybody can't call you that. No. Oh, I know when Leaf sends me a message, I'm screwed. Oh, God. I'm getting a drink first before I, I click on this link. Oh, no, We have his house in downtown Virginia. What? He better not put it out there, Deb. Like, I gave him that name for a reason. Like, that's my little pet name for him. For a reason. I can hear the eyes. Yes, She Monkey is awesome. You guys all need to give her a follow. Exclamation point victim in the chat. We'll give you her Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. So make sure that you guys all add her. Um, and if you go to her Twitch page, there's another link there too, but I didn't put that one on there because I didn't know what it was at the time. Ghost, I would totally help you if I was there. You'll have new toys for him in a couple of days though, babe. Promise. Totally gonna have new toys for him. Hey, Ghost, don't ever repeat this. But I think I found someone that can outdrink me. I think I did. I think She Monkey could totally outdrink me. We're not going to try, though. How south is the chat gone? Not as south as it normally goes, contractor. Just saying. What? What did you just clip, Leaves? No, Cox. Cox. She monkey had to go get more alcohol. Her cup was empty, so she had to fill it up. Because she's drinking whiskey and Coke. Well, whis whiskey and Pepsi. And then she's, like, shooting cinnamon whiskey, too. I'm back. I'm back. Did you miss me? I miss you all the time. You have no idea. <laughs> and I have to say... um, while I have you on here on a personal one-to-one, -one, oh, yeah. thank you so much for all the support that you've shown um, the Safe Zone. Um, uh, you guys are such after my own heart that I have to. Well, you <laughs> are, you're up there. I mean, like, way up there and one of our biggest supporters um, in the group with our biggest supporters. Like, you have been amazing it's because you guys are just so inspiring in what you do. I mean, it gives me, in some ways, it gives me a direction of what I want to be doing. I mean, granted, we have different skills, but the the people that you're involved with are so good. I mean, they're they're worth 
fighting for. I mean, they're worth working with. They're You've got some good peeps here in the safe zone. Well, thank you. I, I mean, I just, I, I wanted to make sure um, that while I had you here that I thanked you. Um, and, and I'm thanking you not just for me, but I'm thanking you for Ghost and I. Um, the support that you've shown, he and I, has been amazing. Um, but it, you take it to a whole new level. You don't just support the two of us. You show so much love. I mean, so much love to everybody in the safe zone. It's a community. Why wouldn't Exactly. You? And I just, I wanted to make sure that you know how appreciative we are of that. Mr. Shadow, what's up? What's up? Um, I just, I wanted you to know how appreciative that Ghost and I are from the bottom of our hearts. Like, I mean, we love every single one of you guys that are in the safe zone. We love you all so much. Um, but I wanted to say thank you because well, I, I, I mean, I mean you've, you've I'm been a big help for you, for you guys. And you know that we're I mean, always here for you, no matter what. When I'm having a bad day, it's Discord that I come to first. Yeah? It's, it's the safe zone Discord that I come to first. You don't need and to go to your own first? I have so few people in mind, and I'm still developing it. I mean, it's kind of... Uh, I feel like my, my own Discord is kind of in a beta. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm still working on what bots I like because I want certain features. I mean, I want, you know, games and stuff to occupy people when I'm not online if they want to. And so, I mean, I've, I've spent a lot of time trying to just refine it. Yeah. And I, yeah, I post in the Safe Zone Discord more than my own. And part of it is because I know the people will be there more readily i mean because there's there's so many people and it's such a big community that everybody cares about each other that you know if i'm having a bad day i know i can post something in the safe zone and you know somebody's going to say something to make me feel better whether it's something in some stupid meme in troll nation or um um, somebody helping somebody else out in the, the, the new tech area. I mean, I learned so much by you guys being a community and I am just so happy to be a part of it. So, yeah. <laughs> Kip, so what's going on? How are you? The more hey, wait a minute. Isn't Red Tube? Isn't isn't that a porn site, or am I thinking of something else? What was Red that? Tube? Is it I? Well, Kipsa. Either way, we're happy to have you here. Welcome to welcome to my channel. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Uh, I'm. That's funny. Um, I feel like I missed something. I I think I did too. No, it's not a porn site. All right, good. William, thank you so much for that host. You're amazing. Cookie, what's going on? How are you doing? I thought that was Pornhub. Deb, I have no idea. No, contractor, we're not talking about orgies tonight. That's not the way she monkey is. No, not tonight. Yeah. Maybe another time. Yeah, maybe, maybe some other time. All right, so she, what was your first... I've been single for too long to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, no shit, right? What was your first... <laughs> um... What was your first interaction uh, with a troll in your stream, in your own personal stream? Um, in my own personal stream, I I actually have this one guy. I can't even remember the name now. Um, but he came across as like one of my biggest supporters. Was like in my stream every day for a couple weeks. I mean, when I was trying to do the the gaming side more. Um before I got really busy with work and had trouble scheduling my gaming side. Um, and he was great, like, to the point where I I made him a mod in my channel because he was just so, like, on top of things and ready to support me. And 
all that. And I'm pretty generous with my rock, with my sword. Um, because it's not that big of a deal. I don't necessarily need a lot of moderation, but I like to be able to give people that power sometimes, like uh, as far as like bot commands and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, like one day I was streaming and one of my other mods came in, said so, you know, a casual joke. And I think, I think she casually called me a bitch, which I was raised to believe a bitch is a good thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I've worked all these years to be this big of a bitch. I'm proud of it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's beautiful, intelligent, talented, hell of a bit or hell of a woman. Yeah, right. I mean, this is the way my mom raised me. Is you know, it's not an insult to be called a bitch. So when this guy, like, all of a sudden, like, banned one of my other mods. I'm like, you're kidding me, right? For that? That was the first time I really had a troll, and he followed me around for, like, the next week and a half, no matter where I was. Like, I had to put myself on Invisible on Twitch because he was following me wherever chat I was in. And um, it wasn't just a troll for my channel. He was a troll for me. And that was kind of bizarre. But since then... There's really not much. The, the trolls I really get are, like, online, like on Xbox Live. Mm -hmm. um, like when I play Call of Duty. I cannot play Search and Destroy anymore. If I play Call of Duty on Sur Search and Destroy, I get, sh like, shitty messages from people saying, you know, how fuck, how the dare you pay play and you just, you're fucking bad. And it's just like... How, I'm playing because I enjoy playing. Yeah, and how am and I going to get better unless I play? If it's been a couple months since I've played and this is my first match for a while, it, it, I'm going to suck. So, I mean, I, I don't claim to be the best whatsoever. I claim to play because that's fun. <laughs> right. I mean, the game that got me interested in, in shooters and all that was... <laughs> yeah, thanks, Lee. Um, <laughs> I do have a mod, uh, troll as a mod. Um, yeah, I do too. I have fucking modded leaves. So did I. <laughs> yeah, no, he's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh. He, he is the best kind of troll, though. He really is. Because he trolls the people that are trolling you. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. He trolls the hell out of me too. But he does. Yeah, but it, he does a very good job at keeping up. You realize it's it it is unjust and not, uh, you know, vindictive or stupid or petty. It's just somebody being annoying because they can be. Right. <laughs> and I don't mind that. I have a very high tolerance for annoyance. <laughs> right. What's up, event? That's why. I'm Hence why, you know, Leafs is a mod in my channel. That's funny. <laughs> Ether! What's up? Exclamation point victim in the chat, guys. That'll give you all of She Monkey's links that you can absolutely follow her. And you should absolutely follow her because if you don't, you're fucking up. I do apologize, though, because the more I drink, the more babbling I get. You can babble so, all you want. I mean... Well, like, you'll ask a question, and I'll think I'm answering it, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, that's you know what that's a good point um get your bottle let's take a shot drink shot i mean cheers so many options shot 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 so she takes a drink of the coke and whiskey first and then she's gonna take it Ooh, it's that take a shot of the silver yeah. cinnamon shit my cheap shit take it take a shot of the cinnamon shit Cinnamon shit is for shots. Cheap shit is for mixing. Right? Cheers. Oh, so many cheers. Haha, <laughs> play up! Everybody! I love it. I used to shut off all of my SMS sounds for an interview. But I found that when I ask the person that I'm interviewing 
Depending on who it is. Now, mind you, when I interview big people, devs, and partners, I shut everything off um, so that all of you amazing people can't troll. Um, I shut all of that shit off. Um, but I've decided that after asking about 20 people that I've interviewed, whether or not they want the troll sounds on, most of them are like, fucking leave them on. So every now and then I'm like, I can't hear anything for a second. Hold on. You know what, Wooly? I I have not tried to ban Leafs and I would not ban Leafs because Leafs is on, on a very personal note, and I know that you and I have both said that Leafs is a troll. Um He's the best kind of troll really is. is the way I put it. But the deal is, is no matter how we joke about Leafs. Leafs is a major, major supporter of the safe zone. He, I guarantee you, he has been in every single one of you guys' channels. I guarantee you that he's probably lurking in all of your channels as we speak right now. Um, and, and no matter how much shit we talk about him, he's still a really good dude. I'm like, he, he might be a little out there, but his heart yeah, is where he, it belongs. He's not lur lurking in mine right now. I just Are said. you serious? I'm surprised. I, I, I'm a little surprised. I'm too. surprised because I mean... he's like always <laughs> lurking in everyone's channels. Maybe maybe his stream thing went down. <laughs> Cox is throwing snowballs. Well, I've had to limit how many I, I, I keep up on uh, multi Twitch. So. Yeah, I won't use it. I. I will have five or six channels open at a time. When someone goes offline, I'll open up another one. I know there's a lot of people that don't even realize that I've ever even been in their channel because a lot of times I'll open up a channel to watch it while I'm doing safe zone work. Yeah. Yeah, well, Leafs, I, Leafs is I a good love, dude. Though. I love lurkers. So we do I, too. I mean, I'm a champion lurker, so I have utmost love for lurkers. I lurk in your <laughs> channel all the time. I know, I've seen that. <laughs> I, I try not to call out lurkers. I mean, but my bot occasionally will because I have it so like like every half hour or something like that, it just calls out a random person for being awesome. The she monkey. <laughs> Thank you for never calling me out. <laughs> I appreciate it. Did that give you chills? <laughs> A little bit. Like, oh. <laughs> The cat's trying to knock things over. Hey, you saw me in years, and you were surprised when you saw me there. Thank you for not calling me out, contractor, because, like, seriously, I lurk. And, like, I will literally, I'll go to the safe zone, to the now streaming, and I'll open up five or six of the newest ones that are on. And I'll lurk in there until someone else goes off, and then I'll switch that one out for someone else that's on. Um, and I literally, I might not ever say anything in your chat. But guaranteed, I'm paying attention because I'm, I have you up over here and then I have Twitter up over here or I have Twitch or whatever I'm working on up on this other screen. So yeah, at any given time, I have two to three monitors going. And if I have all three monitors going, one of them is just like Twitch. <laughs> so I may lurk badly like oh my gosh i'm so sorry for not saying the things that i should when i'm lurking in people's channels but i'm watching i mean y you guys are so much more entertaining than television i mean i have cable and i still watch you guys while i'm at work <laughs> deb so when do i get to see you hosting um deb i host my partner after my stream and then if I wouldn't have gone to sleep uh, in the middle of Ghost Stream last night, because I was hurting so bad yesterday, um, I and I am hurting really bad today. My my idiot mom, a she monkey. I love her to death. I love my mom, and I owe her the world because she gave me mine. But I am like. I, I'm injured 
and she doesn't think that the injury is as bad as it is. Even though within the last four months, I've been in the hospital two times for having dislocated mm. shoulder. Um, she's like, oh, you need to come over to my house today and move my bedroom to the to my new bedroom and then move the old, you know, the, the spare bedroom into my old bedroom because, like, you know, it has to be done. And I'm like, I'm not supposed to lift anything over five pounds. I've been there. I, I for several months, uh, I'm granted it was a long time ago, but for several months, I wasn't supposed to lift over 10 pounds uh, after a surgery. And I wasn't even allowed to lift one of my cats. Right? Like, I'm not even so, supposed to pick up yeah. a fucking gallon of milk. So, <laughs> yeah. So, of course, I went over to the, you know, the kids I babysat's house and picked them up. Of course. Um but that's why I, I don't have a nice clean incision. I have a nice torn, no, <laughs> wide scar <laughs> because everything tore because I didn't follow those like, rules. All of my <laughs> incisions, all of my incisions are fine, but everything internally is not. <laughs> I, I believe everything internally is good with me, but I, I did have a surgery when I was 11 um to remove a mass from my stomach um so i've got let's see it's a about an eight inch long scar um that they only put nine stitches in so um eight inches and pretty. nine stitches yeah it did not turn out pretty they were worried about being able to go in back in quickly if they needed to so they were not worried about like, making it look pretty um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it definitely makes a difference, like, where it is. I mean, I, I sat up and tore it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Double tap! What's up? What's up? Yeah, I, um, I've had four surgeries on my shoulder. I've had one, and that was enough. Yeah. I, I don't need more. Yeah, I've had four, so when mom calls and she's like, okay, the big thing is like, I don't know how many of you guys have had, um, like so shoulder surgery on like torn rotator cuffs or anything like that, but on the rotator cuff itself, one of the worst things that you could do is use like a rake or a broom that this motion, like moving your arm, this is the inward motion and that's the super spinatus, um, it's like one of the worst things. So she's always like, hey, you need to come clean my house. And I'm like, <laughs> right? Sure. I have carpeting for a reason because a vacuum is so much easier to use than a fucking broom. All right. <laughs> I appreciate it, contractor. That's amazing. But yeah. So when I'm not asleep and I have a chance to turn on my auto host on my bot, I do. Um, I just. These past couple of days, Deb, I have been in so much pain that I've not had a chance. Like, like I, I wish I could get into, like, pain management, but I don't want to cover up the pain with drugs. Because if you cover up pain with drugs, we both know that you're just going to hurt yourself worse. What state are you in? Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so... They're, they're, not, they're not a green state, are no, they? No, but, I mean... It's all right. I am in a green state and proud of it. She's like, I don't <laughs> give a fuck. Hold on, where is... Well, I, I do on camera. I mean, I want to be respectful on camera. But I do live in a very legal state and I embrace how legal it is. And, I mean... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to send you something on Discord real quick. <laughs> There you go. It'll be there in just a second. I forget the pain, just take drugs. No. No, either because what happens is you cover it up with drugs and then you hurt yourself worse. So then you have to take more drugs to cover it up and then before you know it, you're in fucking rehab because you're a fucking pill junkie. And I'm good. I don't want to be one of those people. Did you see that? <laughs> Yeah, and I, I want to say that's sad. <laughs> Why? Because I get 
I mean, just by the look, I get so much better. Well, I know, <laughs> but I mean, here. No, I, I, I mean. <laughs> Hold on, I had to. There. <laughs> it's convenience, all right? That's the only reason. Convenience. <laughs> it's con um, it's convenient. After we're done here, yeah, I I'm gonna send you a photo of what I got for twenty one for the same same size. Jesus, I don't even want to know because, like, it sucks. I mean, it's good, but not that good. <laughs> I, it, yeah, I mean, location is part of it. Right. You're not in a good area for no. it. No. You're just not. And I, I actually know more than your average bear when it comes to this kind of stuff. Because of, um, oh, that's funny. All <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the the stuff I just got was um twenty one. Damn. For for the same amount, but looks so much better. <laughs> uh I mean there's definitely some perks to living where I do. I'm sure. Um Yeah, uh I try to censor what I'm saying, even though it's legal where I am. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not here. It's so. not legal everywhere. So I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. Change your name and... to Green Monkey. <laughs> green Monkey. Hell yeah. She's like, yes, I'm green and I know it. <laughs> oh Lord. I mean, to be honest, it's been probably almost 20 years. I am a long-term. Very functional. I mean, 4.0 in college functional. Um, and uh, <laughs> I may get spacey when I'm, you know, trying to talk to people. But that happens with any introvert. Any social anxiety ridden introvert will have the same problems. So that that is not because of the type of person I am. <laughs> right. Well, and, and I'm very proud of you, though, because being such an introvert, you're so outgoing when it comes to, like, your stream and... The, this is why. Right. This is largely why. I mean... And I hate to say it, but sometimes that's what it takes for me to be able to cross that barrier sometimes is to, to turn off the filter, you know? Uther wants to know if because there's a name I, or if there's a story behind the name She Monkey. Um, when I first started on Xbox Live, my, my name was Mrs. My ex name. <laughs> and when that went to pieces, I decided I need something completely different. And, um, I was trying to think of something like monkey business or, you know, just something completely opposite of what I was. And I ended up with she monkey because not only because monkeys, I have quite a few monkey stuffed animals around here. I don't know how that picked up, but it picked up. And um, I, I grew up with so many fish. So the, the she monkey is actually a sea monkey, a, a twist on the sea monkey. <laughs> um and it was just one of the first things when I was trying to find something that was only me and had nothing to do with my ex. That was one of the first things that one of the approved names on Xbox is where I was going for, for first. Um, that really struck to me that I could use it. <laughs> Suicidal for Link, what's up? How are you? Um... So, what kind of games do you play when you do play? Besides, like, Halo and Call for Duty, cause, or Call of Duty, because you already told us those. I, I, I love shooters. Um, it took me a while, but I love shooters. Um, I like all sorts of games, really. I love um, story-based games, multiplayer. 
um, third person, first person. Um, I, I've got over 70 games on my Xbox right now, and it's just so random. Same thing with the ones I've been able to download on my computer. <laughs> Some part thanks to the safe zone. Probably quite a yeah, few of them. <laughs> yeah, the random Steam keys. I like random games. Um, and I don't even care about, you know, 8-bit quality as long as that's what they were intending. Right. <laughs> when it's accidentally that bad, that's when it sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm very much with you. I don't like the games that are supposed to be like, like, uh, this is the new upcoming graphics and then you get in and, and like the, the, um... Like, the previews and the VODs that they have posted on Steam are very misleading. And then you get in to play the game and you're like, what the fuck is this shit? This is, like, the worst. That's actually one of the main reasons I've never gotten into the Final Fantasy mm -hmm. series. It's because the all the clips they would show in the commercials, the, the advertising, the trailers, all that, was never the gameplay. And the gameplay was so drastically different. Oh, God. I, I just, I couldn't do it. I mean, I could handle it if they were billing it that way. But they weren't billing it that they that way. They were billing it as this, like, big um, cinematic piece. Like, storyline, not let's farm for fucking points forever. Like Yeah, exactly. I, I, and that, I mean, I think the first one I really tried was Final Fantasy VII. Ugh. And it was just like... Uh, you watch the video and then you play the game. They're completely different things, and I couldn't do that. I just I could not do that. <laughs> yeah, I I mean I completely agree. Uh, I love the Final Fantasy series. I I have played the Final F Fantasy series for a really long time, but the big issue that I have with it is it's not a stream game. At least at least not for me. Like it is for some people, but not for me. Because I'm big into let's play, not let's fucking farm for six hours and get nowhere. See, I don't mind tedious games as long as that's what I set out to do. I mean, it's fine as long as, you know, that's what you're into. Me personally, like, one of the reasons that I have a hard time streaming ARK is because ARK is pretty much farming. Like... It's, okay, well, I have to make this, so I need to go collect this, and then it's literally, let's collect for an hour, and then I have enough to make this, and then, okay, now we have to make something else, so let's go farm for another hour. It's, it's very, yeah. it's very monotonous. And if I look at, if I look at my, my very early gaming beginnings, mm -hmm. I'm looking at the Macintosh Classic 2. Okay. So, um, black and white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little a bitty screen, big, you know, block of a console. Right. And I was playing SimCity with the ex expansion pack, so I it had them modernized, you know, the or you can do Wild West or you know all that kind of stuff. But that's what I really got started on as far as PC gaming was the black and white Mac classic bullshit really <laughs> and it didn't that didn't really take me too far because I had a Nintendo at the time and that was you know Duck Hunt and Super Mario definitely took precedence right um, but it, it gave me a different perspective of the type of games that were out there and I think I needed that I mean I, as much as I played SimCity I probably played you know, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Just as much. <laughs> I had a, a, an atlas around here just for that purpose. Just for Car where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I mean, it, it's different requirements for each game. Right. And I think I definitely prefer the sim aspect mm -hmm. because I'm actually good at tedium. I mean, I'm a web designer. I deal with coding all day. More power and to you because wondering. I look at it and I'm like, the Yeah, and, you know, I deal with HTML, CSS, PHP, SQL. I, I deal with coding all day. So there's certain 
types of repetition that really work for me. Um, especially when it comes to something that I actually enjoy, which games do that. I mean, I, I can't count how many hours I've wasted on the original, like the original, original SimCity. And um, for a while on one of my old computers, I had Sim Tower. And it was like before the, or around the same time that the, the 3D Sim cities started coming out, not before the Sims. Um, but you, you had to build up to like 100 stories of a tower. And that kind of tedium I'm really good at. Uh, I mean, <gasps> that game used to piss me off so much because everybody would go bankrupt at once. So you'd have to go through every property and to adjust the rent. But I was good at that. <laughs> she monkey. I'm good at tedium. She monkey, look. Look, look, look. Wooly Bear is one follower away from 200! Wooly Bear! Oh. oh my god, somebody follow fucking Wooly Bear! Oh, hell yeah! Oh we my god! Do you know, we were there for Wooly's test stream. And a test stream, normally there's nobody in there. Maybe one person to kind of help you out. And what, that test stream lasted, what, three hours? It was hours three hours, and so there was there? over, like, 20 to 30 people in a stream from the jump. Ghost and I both uh, hosted it and posted it and tweeted it and posted it in Discord. There was so many people in there. It was great. Takes the flies out of chat. What? What flies? There are flies in my chat? Where? Get the fuck out of there, 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 there's some, you know, hearts. And all oh, that. I love it. And suicidal, like, see, can I just call you Link? Because I don't like suicide. So we're going to call you Link. Um, I, I totally agree. I, this is, this is awesome. And let's see. Uh, contractor said, I can't pass a DUI test sober, FYI. I mean, does that mean that we should, uh, that that we should be careful and and not get you drunk. Oh, okay. Is that what that means? Dev says your mouth was wide open. I was shocked. You hit two hundred now. Oh my god! Everybody, spam, spam, fucking spam for Wooly Bear. Congratulations. We fucking love you, Wooly. Wooly, you are amazing. We absolutely love you, dude. Congratulations. I'm going to, I know what I'm going to do here. This is what we're going to post. We're going to post this just in light of tonight. We're going to post the fuck out of this one. There we go. Look at all the monkeys. Yay. Congratulations, Wooly. We are so proud of you. 200, that's an amazing <laughs> Uther. What the? That shock your ass. What shock and all. That shock and all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go. I was Is it possible to take like a two minute break real quick? Absolutely, because I need to use the restroom too. So, yeah, exactly. I know. I mean, we've drank a little bit, so why don't you give me a song to play? Ah, oh, well, shoot. Um, you're stressed out. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, guys, we'll be back in just a short amount of time. Give us just a minute, and we'll be right back. Gotta pee. Yeah, I, I mean, it's <laughs> it's one of those things. You know, we've been drinking. We'll be right back. Talk amongst yourself, follow each other, make sure you shout yourselves out, and uh, don't forget to follow She Monkey while we're here. All right, love you guys. We'll be right back. Let me find my BRB screen. All right, there it is. All right, we'll be right back, guys. I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I sang. I was told when I get older, all my fears would shrink, but now I'm insecure, and I care what people think.
we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep but now we're stressed out wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep but now we're stressed out smell will take me back to when I was young how come I'm never able to identify where it's coming from I'd make a candle out of it if I ever found it try to sell it never sell out of it I probably only sell one if it's in my brother because we have the same nose same clothes homegrown a stone's thrown from a creek we used to roam but it would remind us of when nothing really mattered out of student loans and treehouse homes we all would take the ladder my mind is blurry face and I care what you think my name's blurry and I care what you think Wish we could turn back time To the good old days When the mama sang us to sleep But now we're stressed out Wish we could turn back time the different names we would build a rocket ship and then we fly it far away used to dream of outer space but now they're laughing at the face saying wake up you need to make money yeah we used to play pretend give each other different names we would build a rocket ship and then we fly it far away used to dream of outer space but now they're laughing at the face saying wake up you need to make money yeah wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. When the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. We used to play pretend, used to play pretend, bunny. We used to play pretend, wake up, you need the money. Used to play pretend, used to play pretend, bunny. We used to play pretend, wake up, you need the money. Play pretend, give each other different names. We would build a rocket ship and then we fly far away. Used to dream of outer space, but now they're laughing at the face, saying, Wake up, you need to make money. So we're still waiting on she to come back. As soon as she gets back, uh, we'll get started again. Um, Drunken Lycan, thank you so much for that host. You're amazing. You don't want to double promote yourself. What are you talking about, Noe? I love that tune too, Deb. It's an amazing tune. Amazing tune. Let's see if we can find something else until she gets back. We'll play this one until she gets back. You're a broadcaster as well. You appreciate it. You guys will check you out. Um, you're 10 away from 1400. Oh, damn. We'll link as long as you follow both Ghost and myself. You are more than welcome to shout yourself out. All right. Guess what, guys? She Monkey's back. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. Yay. She Monkey. Hey. Just for you. Hey, baby. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't do the, do the tongue roll. I just cannot do really? it. Really? Yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> Turbo! Needs more junk rat, right? I, I, I can talk to you in HTML code, but yeah, no, I cannot roll my tongue. I, I mean, I don't speak Chinese, so... <laughs> 
I don't understand. Like you guys, there's a reason that my specs that I wrote are in hashtag blinky box. And then the, you know, the, the, um, interpretation of it is exclamation point specs because I don't get it. I just, I don't fucking get it. <laughs> All right. So she tell us. Yeah. I find myself having to dumb things down a lot when I talk to client or when I talk to my clients, when I'm building websites mm -hmm. and I don't even feel like I'm talking above them. It's just these terms I know. So it's just like they're they, all of a sudden they're like, well, what do you mean? Oh, like two weeks ago, I, I had to send a link to a, a client, just a link. You know, everybody knows what a link is, right? Yeah. <laughs> I sent a link to the client and told her to take a look at that link and give me her feedback. She's like, what's a link? And the response was, oh, I didn't know I could click it. What? Okay, I'm not these that blonde. <laughs> the, these are the type of people I deal with sometimes. It's... Mm, it is infuriating. I mean, that's, that's why in the middle of the day, you'll find me on... <laughs> you'll find me on the, the Safe Zone Discord in the middle of the day when I should be working... It's because I'm so frustrated with these people that, I mean, I'm trying to dumb it down and they're still like, oh, I can click on that? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's funny. It, it's not that difficult, is it? Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, she, and you're going to be sad when I tell you this, but when... When I first discovered Twitch, I discovered it because um, a friend of mine that went that I went to school with was like, hey, I was talking to the guy at the moment, you know, and like not talking to him like we were dating or anything, like, but I was just talking to him like getting, you know, like he had been in the, um, the service for so long that I, uh, I hadn't talked to him in years. So we were like getting reacquainted and he was like, hey, I'm going to stream tonight. Why don't you come watch? And I'm like, okay. Didn't know what the fuck it was. That's the reason why my name is Rochelle LD and not something else. Because I didn't realize that I could make it whatever the fuck I wanted to. Um, <laughs> and then, like, I left his stream and went into another one uh, after he wasn't on for, like, two days. And somebody was like, hey, jump on Skype with me. I'm like, what the fuck is Skype? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'll have you know, I actually installed Skype on this computer today. Yeah. And this is the second Skype call I've ever done. Oh, I feel special. No, oh, you very much so are. The first time, it was a friend of mine that I that I actually met on Xbox um, years and years ago when I was still married. Um, we met on Xbox through Uno and Halo. <laughs> and uh, it had been a couple of years and we found each other again. And he's like, hey, Skype me. And I'm like... Um, hold on. Got to download it. <laughs> At least your answer wasn't, what's Skype? Oh, I knew exactly what Skype was, but I hadn't really tried it. I mean, I'm not a video call kind of person. I mean, it's only been since August that I'm okay being on camera, and I've got three cameras now. I'm so proud because of you. Of the, the, the creative spree the creative streaming and uh yeah it's a it's a big jump for me <laughs> Ooh, i was woolly bear's first skype call ever i feel so special i was actually a lot of people's first skype call ever you're you're my second one that's amazing ever you know the reason that i tell you guys to and the call first me was like two years ago that's a been a while <laughs> um the reason that i tell you guys to call me is because i literally have hundreds of contacts in my Skype. And if I was trying to That's find really, you, you're my only contact. Um, if I was trying to find you on Skype, I'd never be able to find you. Um, like, and I even have a lot of names hidden because I don't ever talk to them, but I have hundreds of contacts, but you got to think everybody that I do interviews with, I do them in Skype. 
Definitely. Um, or I do them in Google um, Google Hangouts, which... Yeah, Google Hangouts is what I use during the day for work. Mm -hmm. uh, when my, my work phone... Because I have a VOIP phone for work. Mm -hmm. So even though I work from home, I get calls from the office. Uh, you know, there's a thing in the back of my head right now that I'm going to be sending this link to my boss because he asked for it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to. <laughs> uh, if I had a little ha ha in there, it won't seem so weird, right, Jimmy? Right. right, right. Um, I swear to you, boss, <laughs> she monkey is amazing. She's never done anything to break the rules. She she doesn't get wasted I don't break the rules. or I, anything. I make new rules. Yeah, I, make I do not rules. break rules. I make new rules because I know what I do well, and I I want those rules to accommodate what I do well when it comes to the work I do. Right. And drags. Thank you so and much for that host. You're amazing. I, I've I spent a lot of time refining what I do, and. Uh, I think I'm pretty damn good at it. Of course. So, uh, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, the, the reason I was late to this interview today is because I was talking to, I had to drive 30 miles or almost 30 miles, five highways and freeways to get there. And, uh, I had to meet with a client and it was just to make them feel better about what they were buying. And, that I don't mind that part of it, but I'm not good at it. I feel like I'm stumbling over my words a lot. I mean, the that's part of the 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 social anxiety that I have is that I always feel like I'm stumbling over my tongue, whether I am or not. You know, I just I always feel like, oh shit, maybe I should have stopped talking like a minute and a half ago. And that word didn't make sense. Why did I say it? Mm. You know, I mean, that's that's the kind of thing I go through when I when I'm on camera, or on the phone. I mean, I don't even like talking on the phone very often because I, I encounter this doubt. <laughs> but um, I'm definitely getting better because of Twitch and because of the Safe Zone community, and I I appreciate that Conver Zone because it's. It's infected other parts of my life. I mean, I'm able to, ha you know, I had an over an hour and a half meeting long meeting with a client today. And I think I handled myself better than I have in the past because of the experience of talking to safe zone people and to talking to people on camera while I'm streaming and doing something pretty arbitrary as, you know, the, the scratch word pieces. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's affirming to do this sometimes, and I, I appreciate you guys so much. Well, we are so I, I proud of you. you. We we are so proud of you for being able to overcome that. I mean, I, I know how hard it is for people to overcome certain fears and issues that they have. Um, uh, and I definitely have issues. I mean, if you don't see me for a week, it's because... Not necessarily because I'm busy. It's because something happened to impact my confidence and I'm just, I can't do it. You know, it's, and that's part of what I'm getting over and trying to set a schedule by at least a minimum going online on Sundays. I mean, I don't have a set schedule at the moment, but on Sundays I'm doing my best to get online and just forget about everything else that's, in my way because I put a lot of stuff a lot of stuff in my way right and it's me doing it and I you know <laughs> it, it's it's not something I'm happy with or anything like that but every time I push myself a little bit more it's it's empowering I mean even just you know putting a tweet out sometimes is empowering and I think we all need to realize that sometimes because we're we're not just talking to ourselves or talking to this little group of people. We're we're putting ourselves out there, and for someone like me, that's sometimes really freaking hard. 
So to be able to do that and to feel comfortable with the people that are watching and to feel that even if strangers are watching that the people that to, are there for you um, support you and will be there for you like I mean mod or not whatever situation it may be in when it comes to Twitch um, I just feel like I've come so far in just a few months and that's kind of a little scary for someone like me that has let so much hold them back. Well, it's a good thing that you're taking a step forward and trying your hardest to put that behind you. And I'm glad that you're using Twitch as a empowering site for you. Um, it really is. I mean, I, I can't deny that it's been empowering for me. Right. I, I'm very and, proud of you. I mean, it's hard to do. Like yeah. me personally, I... Um, I don't have social anxiety. I, I'm not afraid of of uh, talking to people. I've been on stage since I was five years old. I've been in front of crowds. I envy but, that. but my big thing is I can be in front of a crowd. And I could sing my heart out for hours in front of a crowd. But as soon as the show is over and it's time to mingle with all those people I get so anxious because there's so many of them that expect so much from you that I'm just like I fucking hate all of you guys I don't want to talk to you guys I don't want to be around you guys I just want to decompress and like that's my big issue like I don't have a problem with talking in front of people but that. I mean I can see exactly where you guys come from because for me when the show's over and I'm not on stage and it's like one-on-one -on -one with all these people it's hard as hell for me to go out there and shake hands of dirty fucking hands and talk to these people that are just like I, there's a lot of really sickos in the fucking mu music industry i just <laughs> there really is there's a lot of sickos out there there's there's sickos in every oh, industry yeah. and i have a very thick skin when it comes to like social media and things like that I mean, I have multiple Twitter accounts. Uh, one of them I, I've been very mouthy of, on lately. I mean, if I mean, watch the news and you'll know why I've been mouthy. Um, but it's not my gaming one. I try to keep them separate. Um, and it's been very hard for me to, you know, state my opinion sometimes because, I mean, I was the type of kid that when I was little, family would order pizza. I mean, yay, pizza. They'd order what they wanted. And if I didn't like what they wanted, I picked it off. Right. So it was up to me to make whatever they did okay for right. me. And in so many ways, that's exactly what I do with everything else. And that most of the time isn't a problem. Um, I mean, when it comes to more when I when it comes to like what I do um, as far as work and what I've dedicated to my education and everything to, sometimes I take it a little more personally. But still, it's you know bits and pieces that come together, and I have to remember where I am in that in the grand scheme, you know and. I don't know. It's been it's definitely been interesting with uh, different situations going on, um, d the different perspective I take to it. Like when I use my my shy she monkey Twitter, I'm reacting to gaming things. When I use my personal Twitter, <laughs> way different things. But I want to keep them separate in the sense that I want to keep each whole. You know, I don't want to taint them with other things. And um, that's been a lot of the the reason why I've drifted so far in the gaming and the to Twitch and the streaming and all that is because I need to get away from the things that stress me out. <laughs> and gaming is one thing that doesn't whatsoever. I mean, that was one of the few things I was able to take from my divorce and keep for me 
was my love for gaming. That's good. And I'm I'm very proud of that. I mean, even in court, I had to stand up and say, no, the Xbox is mine. <laughs> yeah, right? It's mine, bitch! I want the no, Xbox. I seriously had to stand up in front of a judge and tell them that the game consoles were mine. And I had to list each one and why they were mine. So... Yes, Oops. I certainly, I, I get the value on them, and I get the value they have in me, because they open me more, up more to do things that I may not do otherwise. I need all that in my life. I need that randomness. I need the, you know, the, the community of somebody that, you know, maybe I can't touch physically, but I can still be a part of their life through the the magic that is the internet. I mean, I've been that way since I was 12, 13 years old. I mean, I love the, the connection that the internet brings and the gaming aspect of it is just like, hey, you have something to do while talking to each other. Right. <laughs> so you really need to stop me because I'm babbling now. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> Cry Sands, Daddy Warbucks, Johnny Ragu, an unreliable gamer. Thank you guys so much for those hosts. You guys are amazing. Love you guys. Um, and I, I mean, it's Miss Kitty. All right, Ghost, hurry, please. Um, I, I do have to say, though, like, I have heard so many people um, come to me and say, that you know they have issues with social anxiety i don't know if you were watching last night when i was talking um to emma but i had a girl right around the same time that i met emma um i had this girl come to me and said um yeah i don't know how to handle trolls in my stream and i've watched your stream and you're really good at handling them how how do you suggest that i deal with them and i gave her a little bit of advice and after talking to this woman for a you know a good 45 minutes or so she had told me that she's agoraphobic. And I mean debilitating agoraphobia to the point where for the past 20 some years she's had doctors come to her house to treat her because she was scared to death to go outside her own front door. Um, and, and I had told her, you know, you stream on Twitch. Why don't you use Twitch as a foundation to grow yourself? And and this this goes for you and it goes for everyone else that has any kind of issues with this, um, with any kind of social anxieties or any kind of fears or anything like that. Um, I, I, I'd explain to this girl, you know, look, here's the deal. Why don't you do this? And I had suggested that... Oh, oh shit! Fuck! Wanted to say this is great. Think what you and Ghost are doing is awesome. This helps. People like me and tons of others get their feet off the ground and help each other out. <laughs> Suicidal for Link. Thank you so much for that donation. You're amazing. I love you. I'm so glad that you're here and you're able to figure out, you know, that we're here to help you. Cheers. This one's on you. <laughs> love you for that scare. Anyways, God, there's such a delay with the, the recording I that know. I keep looking over what's actually playing, and I'm like, oh, God, that's what I look like. Uh, you're, you're gorgeous. <laughs> Shut it. Um, but anyways, I told this girl. I feel like I need to dye my hair. Your hair is beautiful. Um, <laughs> but I told this girl, she's like, yeah, I do have a camera, but I never use it. And I was like, okay, well, you have an issue with people. So I'm like, this is what I want you to do. And I told her, I was like, at the very end of your stream, take five seconds. Say, hey, thank you so much for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Hang up. Mm -hmm. um, the next day, do the same thing. When you get used to doing that quick little in or exit, add a little bit more to it. Add a little bit more to it. Add an intro. Do your gameplay without camera. Do, hey, welcome to my channel. Let's play some games. Shut off your camera. Play your game. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate everything. Leave. Um, this girl got back to me a couple months later. She and she was like, she's like, I have to thank you from the bottom of my heart because I was able because of what you had said, I was able to use Twitch, which is, is one of the things that really inspired me to help people help get over all of this anxiety that they have. Um, 
she said, you know, I was able to use Twitch to get over my agoraphobia to the point that I was actually able to walk to the gas station down the road. She talked to the clerk. She talked to some stranger in the store. She got, you know, a few things at the store and then she walked home. Like this is a woman that had never left her house in 20 years. And that's so important is to be able to find where you can trust. Exactly. And I, I, I know that's part of my problem. And it's not that I don't trust like my friends or things like that. It's that I don't, I don't necessarily trust myself to be able to come up with the right answers. Like if I'm asked a question or, you know, I'm one of those people that likes to think about what I say before I say it. I don't like being put on the spot. I mean, I'm, I'm the type of person that on my birthday, I don't go out because I don't want to be the center of attention. I mean, I'll go out the day after, or the day before, or something like that, just so I'm not, you know, that that reason that, you know, the the employees of the restaurant have to sing, uh, you know? <laughs> right. Well, see, that's the reason why I'm like, I, I want to spend my birthday with my best friends. That is a great way to do it, and you're going to have a great birthday for it. As long as I can get there. I want to spend my birthday with my best friend. Like, that's all I want. For my birthday is to spend it with my best friend and I mean and that means like a, I, I don't want to go out and have a good you know have whatever um, I, I don't want the attention either but I guarantee you while we're out there I'm gonna I'm gonna convince ghost to uh, I, I'm gonna convince ghost to Maybe perhaps go get a burger or something with some of the locals that are there. Locals? That's scary. No, no. I mean, <laughs> locals as in like double tap and. Oh, you know, okay. Like then we'll die. Yeah, some of the safe it. zone locals that are in Wisco. The safe zone locals. Safe are zone locals. Right? I mean, I. I... I don't think she's here, but I I can't wait to meet Ed. Oh my God, she's amazing! I, and you guys are so close I, to each other too. We we seriously, I'm pretty sure, are less than two hours from each other. Yeah. And I I can't wait to meet her. I mean, she's one of those inspirations. I mean, she's so confident on camera. She carries herself well. She plays what she wants to play. I mean, she's definitely one of those people that inspires me. And I, of course, she's not hearing this. She but will. I, I love her for it. Somebody and I love this. that we're so close to each other because I feel like we have that connection, that organ connection. Mm -hmm. And, you know, someday I hope we do meet. I, I hope I hope I meet a lot of you. Right. Um because in so many ways you've become a part of my life and part of it's just because I'm antisocial and online the online world just works so much better for me sometimes mm -hmm. which you know I know isn't a good thing I mean <laughs> I, I know that's a, not a good admission but I have the feeling that through Twitch, um, between now and however long I can stay with it or whatever, I'm going to meet some good people. I'm going to meet, I mean, not just safe zone people that I may, you know, encounter face to face someday, but I'm going to meet some good people that are worth keeping with me in my life. Like you and Ghost and Ed and Leafs and, you know, Wooly and, you know, there's people that that just make me feel good about getting up each day sometimes. And we all occasionally need that. That's amazing. I really appreciate that. And let's see, I missed a couple hosts. Brian's bitches! And I'm really confused about this one, but eight like I ate something 8-bit live. Thank you guys so much for those hosts. You're amazing. Um, and for those of you guys that have said that you like my uh, my donation soundbite, um, 
My buddy 8-Bit did that for me, and I'm not talking about 8 as in, like, I just ate something, but, like, 8 as in the number 8-Bit. Um, he did that for me, and it terrifies me, no matter how many fucking times I hear it. And uh, it terrifies ghosts, too. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, make sure that you guys are all following She Monkey exclamation point, victim in the chat. She's amazing, and if you don't follow She, you're fucking up like you would not believe. Um, but I, I'm, I mean, one of these days, one of the goals that we have in the safe zone, um, is to make you feel like family, whether that's the fucking banner of being like, shut the fuck up, you're a piece of shit right now, and why are you acting like that, you're fucking up, or dude, I love you and I'm proud of you, um, we're a family, no matter how... How you look at it, no matter what kind of banner that we give you, whether it's I positive agree or with negative, so we're much. we're a family. Um, I I agree with that, like so incredibly much. Um, I mean, I have issues with my family, and I come to the safe zone for help. Right. I mean, and that's also one of the reasons why we have the femme fatale too. Um, there are so many people here that no matter what the problem is. There's somebody that can help talk you through oh, it, yeah. and that—that's a resource you can't just ignore. I mean, that's that's something that not everybody gets. Right. And no matter what it's about, or you know, whether it crosses lines you think it shouldn't cross. I mean, I mean, if people are posting their day to day or anything Save zone. i want to be able to be there to help people and i love that these people are there to help me yeah i i, I really couldn't ask for more i mean some of my best friends are right up there with you guys i mean as far as who i go to when something's wrong or you know if something happens during the day that I just I need to say something about because <clears throat> you know safe zone is just safe as readily zone. as some of my closest friends I've ever I've ever had. That's amazing. And it, it's it's pretty amazing to have that in a community, not just a few people in the community, but like I can post something to the community itself and get that same kind of. Uh, response that makes me feel good about myself that you know I, I didn't have to have the doubt I had to begin with or or whatever it is I mean for someone like me that carries so much self-doubt with them for so many whatever reasons uh, there's definitely a plus side to being able to come somewhere that there's already this pre-built community of good. I mean, I haven't encountered anybody in the safe zone that hasn't been good. I mean, well, a resource for we're good. We're very protective over the safe zone. I definitely get that. I get that with, you know, you make sure that everybody's in both streams before you accept them and all that. And that's not something I do with my own personal Discord simply because I don't have any people and very rare does somebody actually click on the link So I mean, I'm not that worried about my own discord But I'm so glad you treat your discord the way you do and you accept the people that you do and the people that you do accept are so Welcoming of everybody else. Yeah. I mean that is huge to someone like me who Sometimes all they need is a community, right, you know DC Gaming, Nala, and Ed. Thank you so much for those. You guys are amazing. Ed, Ed, my love. Ed, 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 you must have heard your name. You missed it. Uh, she Monkey was talking some mad smack about you being one of her besties. Just saying, her and I are going to have to fight about yeah, this later. Me. Because you're supposed to be my <laughs> my my bestie. The fuck are you cheating I on me? Was she for? Fight over who's, who's favorite. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm just fucking with you. But I mean, one of the reasons that that Ghost and I are so protective of 
our Discord. I'm like, we've had a lot of people that are like, I'll just let anybody in. We have a lot of people that will tweet us their Discord. I'm like, I don't want your fucking Discord. Like, I don't know you. I don't know anybody in your community. You know you haven't joined my Discord. Huh? You haven't joined my Discord. Well, I need the link. I posted it. Ghost joined. Well, I need your link. He gets, he gets to deal with my my cat photos. Well, I need your link. You have to, like, send it to me in a DM so I can join it. Because, like, I, I, I literally, right before yeah, I went... Well, I have to, and uh, like I have to see him. Um, but I'll, I'll be honest with you. Right before I went to see him for New Year's, or maybe it was right after New Year's, right around New Year's, I literally left like ninety percent of the discords that I was in because I was in a pissy mood, and I was like, I had just purged about two thousand people that I was following, um, and I was like, holy. Fuck. Funny note, if my if I happen awesome. to send this to my boss, he unfriended me on Facebook because he was in one of those moods. So if I do send this link to the you know the the YouTube video that it ends up from this interview, mm -hmm. if I ever do send it to my boss, dude, friend request me again on Facebook. <laughs> That's funny. Holy fuck, I am like, oh my god, that just scared the fuck out of me. Bipolar, thank you so much for that donation. You're fucking amazing. I absolutely love you. You have no idea how much that means to me. <laughs> that just is one step closer to the cooking stream with watching Ghost not burn down his house because I'm there to protect him. Cheers, she monkey. I know how to not burn things. I, I really do. I, after... You know, eight years with a chef and divorcing him, I've come quite talented in cooking. Well, I mean, I, I know we've touched on this, but she, I fear for Ghost's life. Oh, I'm sure you do. I do. I fear. I, I've seen pictures of the result of his cooking. I fear for his life. He, uh. I feel like I need to send him, like, my, my cookbook as well. No, I mean, no, 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 don't. Please don't. Because I don't no, want him I, to I try he, something and then fucking no, I, die. I have a feeling that when it comes to a cookbook, Ghost needs very specific instructions. So why do you think... Like not, not normal instructions, why, but specific. She, do you remember? the? Okay, the very first link, or the very first um, post that was in Safe Zone Food... I believe, I believe the so. very first post that was on Safe Zone Food, I did it, and that was my um, homemade hot pockets. That's ghost proof. Yes. Yep, it's ghost proof, and that's that's the reason why if I don't move to Wisconsin, I'm gonna like I, I'm gonna be devastated because like. People are like, yeah, I'm I'm eating I'm I'm eating a sandwich and I'm eating a bowl of cereal. And I'm like, <gasps> no. Would it make you feel better to know that I actually have not eaten today? No, it wouldn't. Because you yeah. know what? I'll be honest with you, I haven't eaten either. I'm glad I'm not alone. You're not alone. <laughs> I completely <laughs> forgot. Like I literally, I was at my mom's all day. I left my mom's, went to the pharmacy, went to a friend's house, went to um, my friend's bar, and then I went to go pick up my kid, and then I came here, and I'm like, I passed out for like an hour. I'm like, I can't, like, I hurt so bad that I'm like, I'm like, I even left ghost a message. And I went into my office for an hour long meeting and it ended up lasting almost two hours, so. <sighs> Yeah, five highways and freeways later. It only took me about 35 minutes to get there, but it took me about an hour and a half to get oh, home. Oh, Lord. Link, have a great yeah. night. Thank you so much for being in here. We appreciate you you uh, being one of our many amazing viewers. We absolutely love you to death. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll see you on the other side of the safe zone. All right. So, I, I mean... I, I have to ask you this, and like we're running out of time, which is surprising because like I we know haven't you've even got, got plenty of questions to ask. I me. know, right? <laughs> but I mean, like we've covered so much information that I feel like 
like everybody in here has gotten a chance to know you on and do you on know such you? a mm -hmm. deep level um that when they go into your channel they're gonna feel a lot more comfortable talking to you about stuff so like that's the whole point I of these so. interviews i mean I, I love talking to people and all that it's just sometimes so much easier with a keyboard yeah that's my main issue is just I mean, if you want a, a quick response, keyboard is the way to do it. I mean, if you can do it through Twitch or whatever, I mean, but I, I love the live streaming because it puts me on the spot and I need that in my life. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to like an actual response, <laughs> be more aggressive because sometimes I've got people throwing messages at me and I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, but I do need to ask you this question. Um, this is like one of my favorite questions. And I need to know because I love hearing the responses. Somebody's got to ask me what color underwear I have on, right? Yeah, what color underwear do you have on? I'll ask you. Uh, they are dark gray. Thank you very much. What style? Uh, silky. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I, I don't know what other way to put that. So... I just knew it would be asked at some point. Everybody's been telling me it would be asked. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it happens. That's one of the questions that so many people ask. Oh, believe me. A lot of people have asked me outside of the the safe zone what answer I would give. <laughs> Leaves. Of course. Leaves. <laughs> I told them I would, I would say uh, white boxers with the big red hearts. I mean, that'd be sexy. And, and I'd ask. It would be. Hey, she. I wish I had a pair so I can say that. But um, instead, I'll say it in jest. But yeah. <laughs> if you had those, could I take them off of you? Of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Riddle, what's up, Riddler? How are you doing? Oh my God, Lisa, what did I do? All right, so I need to know from you, what is your most outrageous Twitch moment that you have ever, ever, ever experienced? That's a difficult one because on my channel, not so much. There's not been anything outrageous, really. But um, for a while, I was mod for another channel um, that... He was on the border of being partnered. He just didn't follow up. <laughs> um, so I was a mod for this channel for a long time, and random things always came in. And every time I had to, you know, flick somebody out, I, I'd have a couple of people, you know, flicking back at me. And that was those were probably the most controversial moments is when somebody would contest what I was doing to ban somebody and it was just like dude I waited forever to ban that person and they finally crossed that last 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 line so um no complaining <laughs> that's I mean that's pretty amazing I know tonight that um I was a mod before I was a streamer so, Isn't it yeah. funny how that works out? Yeah, it really I mean, is. But it really helps you get a gist of how, like, the logistics of, that's, like, the back end really of Twitch. That's why I was so glad to find the safe zone because, I mean, it took me three or four weeks of, you know, loyal, loyal being a loyal visitor to... Uh, build myself up to mod status in somebody who probably should have been a partner, but they weren't because they just dropped the ball and never did anything about it. Mm. I will not mention their name, but um, this is who gave me the bad impression of the way Twitch was. And um, I mean, I was one of his highest mods with the with the highest ranking, you know, follow count and all that kind of stuff. And I still couldn't, you know, give him the right direction because he was in a very old school mind of what he wanted and the the audience he wanted 
versus any audience. <laughs> and um, so we had a bit of a discussion about that. He's still using graphics I made for him. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I definitely found that I want to make graphics even for free. I, I have made graphics for free for people because I've just been so inspired. Um, yeah, yeah, at least have to appreciate what I'm doing for you. I mean, it, it, it's my time that I'm, I'm putting in and not everybody, but everybody that I contribute to gets that. And that's something that, um, I wouldn't mind getting a stronger point across. Right. And I mean, you do an amazing job. Like I've seen some of the um, some of the overlays and some of the, the channel graphics that you've done for people. You guys can all find those. Um, if you're in our Discord, you can find them in Creative. She Monkey has done an amazing and amount. And half of those are just because I wanted to. A, a lot of them because are, I, mean, are, I was in your channel and, and I just, I was bored and here they are. <laughs> yeah, that's the difference is I'm bored, here they are, is this is what you get. If you come to me and want graphics, I will make something specific to what you want. But if I make something on my own, it's like, hey, this is what I was inspired by. I hope you like it. So, I mean, I, whenever I post something, I don't expect anybody to use it. Right. I mean, a good portion of the time, I'm doing it for the experience of doing it. Right. Because every graphic I make is experience for me. Whether I'm doing something new or I'm doing something that I've, I've done forever. It's, it's experience that I can count towards myself when I move forward for whatever purpose, whether it be a gaming website or one of my clients' websites for my company that's, you know, a real estate agent or something like that. I, I just, I want to be clear about what I do, um, what I, what I offer. And it, when it comes to something that I enjoy, <laughs> your chances are going to get a better deal. <laughs> right, exactly. CXZCC4, thank you so much for being here. This is interview night, where here in the Save Zone, we bring on one of our amazing subs or one of our amazing streamers that's in here. I love you, TCJ. You're amazing. Um, we bring Again, I apologize from battling. You're fine. We bring in one of our streamers and... Um, we, we give out um, the chance for them to be interviewed, where during this interview, we get to know them on a very personal level. That way, when you go into their channel, you know what to talk about. You know what you have in common with them. You know um, exactly like what her, her likes and dislikes and everything else is. Um, it's pretty much seven hours of promoting you as a streamer whether or not you're there or not we're still gonna fucking promote you i still have to say every time i see myself on camera there and realize that i'm i'm live for or what is it 30 people right now ah, ah, you're you're mm, doing mm, great i feel like bite my nails off you're, you're doing great <laughs> you're doing so well you have no idea um, I'm I'm so proud of you and how far you've and, come. And this will be refilled soon. It better be. Oh, I mean, we only have like ten minutes left. Um, but I and uh, just just so uh, you know, in in case there is a little bit of delay, I still have to plug in my Xbox. I had to switch rooms. It happens. <laughs> No worries, because you know it takes about twenty minutes for Ghost to get everything set up and oh, I and know everything. I, so. I, I know. I never, I definitely know that he takes his sweet time, and I appreciate that because I'm going to need that sweet time this time. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, so this next question I'm asking, not so that we get um, a chance for you to to boast about us or anything like that, but I'm asking this next question because Ghost and I are planning in the future of making a safe zone YouTube channel. Um, and for the YouTube intro, we are going to take this next, the answers to this next question over um, a whole array of people that I've interviewed. 
we're we're going to um jacawa oh my god i haven't heard that name in forever cz <laughs> holy shit um yeah i i used to be friends with jacawa a long time ago anyways so like i said uh, the next question that i ask you is going to be used um for an intro for the safe zone yes. so that when people go in there oh, and they good. watch that that original intro video they can get an idea of what we're about. So this next question will be part of that. Um, but what does the safe zone mean to you on a personal level? On a personal level, the safe zone means family. I mean, there's definitely a few people that brought me into this family that I feel closer to in the sense that I talk to them more often or they give me feedback more often or whatever it is. But without the safe zone, I wouldn't have that family. I wouldn't have the community to help me grow as a streamer. And I wouldn't have that voice that is sometimes stronger when you have a little better backing. So, oh, I can't even state how much I appreciate the work of the safe zone because it's so much a part of what I want to contribute to the community. And it's such a large community that um, I love being able to be a part of it with the safe zone and as a part of the safe zone. Um, 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 yeah. Um, 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 um. <laughs> that was so many ums. She monkey, my love. Yeah. Um, you need to take at, a shot. At the end there, that's all I could think of was um. You, um, um. For that many, for that many ums, you need to take a shot. Do, I was unscrewing the bottle as I spoke. Uh, cheers. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> um, 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 uh. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. All right. So, what kind of advice do you Believe have? Believe me, I know. I'm a, I'm a cop. I was copyright, copy editor, so I know about repeated phrases and stuff like that. <laughs> it's all right. It <laughs> happens. It happens. And CX, I am. I, I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in freaking forever. Like, okay. So when I first met Ghost, she. I used to watch this streamer named Jakawa like all the time, like all the time. I was in his channel all the time and, uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen him in forever, but that's where Sears came from. And I'm like, are you kidding? Like, I haven't seen this name in forever. This is fucking amazing. It's amazing. Venom, come on before you leave. You have to chug a nice bit of your drink. That may be another soundbite I need. What? It's amazing? That amazing. Uh-uh. Because <laughs> I can't say it the same way. I just, I don't have the same mm, to the voice. Yeah, do that <laughs> again. The same what? what? <laughs> <laughs> the same <laughs> <"Rrr." laughs> Well, I can make random noises, no problem. I mean, if you asked hard enough, I could probably quack, too. But, uh... Here, hold on. I got this. She monkey, my love. Ow. Quack. Ow. Quack for me. Ow. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> You're awesome. All right, guys. You guys have about two minutes. <laughs> you have two minutes. Ask whatever questions you want to ask, she monkey. I can't guarantee that we're going to get to them, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, uh, and Go get another drink and oh. get set up for ghost oh. stream. I mean, fuck, there are some that you know there. Yeah, I still have to plug in my Xbox to the wall, hey. so we're a little behind. Today. Hey, she, what would you? Um, what would you? How would you feel? Boss. How would you feel about every now and then Ghost and I making our interviews four hours instead of three? 
As long as I'm not the one having to participate in a four hour interview. Honey, you've been doing three hours as it is, and we haven't even got to the are you addicted or question and answer. And I know. And the funny <laughs> thing is, I was supposed to have a friend come by and like make drinks for me and all that while I was doing this. But she couldn't find a babysitter. I mean, she could have brought her fucking kids with her. Yeah, you're like, not no. Like, not like no, no kids in my house. I'm a green, green state. There's not all things that are okay with the kids in in the room. Yeah. Do you want me to elaborate or do you get it? I get it. <laughs> I totally get it. I figured you would. I mean, there are times that my kid is like, man, mom, man, that cigarette that your roommate smokes stinks. And I'm like, well, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? <laughs> I have to say though, that, uh, being being the way I am made it very easy to get home today. Mm -hmm. She's like, I gotta get home. Well, I smoke and drive. I mean, it happens. When I was younger, um, like I know a lot of people that are like, I can't See, do that. See, this is why we will need a break in between. I know, right? This is why why Ghost needs to set up at some point. That's funny. He will when we get time for it. Whenever it's time for that, uh, let me actually put this over here. Ghost, are you there? What kind of advice do you have for everybody that's here? Don't have the same hang-ups as me. That's my biggest advice, is um, if you think nobody's watching, they're watching. If you think... Um, I don't know. It's just when you're first starting out, don't trust your first impulse when it comes to Twitch because it's so much bigger than you thought. <laughs> it is so much bigger than I thought, and I'm still figuring out how big it is. I mean, the the reach of the channels, the people, the everything is just really kind of cool to be a part of. That's awesome. Well, She Monkey, I appreciate you being here. Um, Ghost has got his fucking pants on before we were oh, even really? fucking yeah. ready. And I'm like shocked. I'm shocked. Because like I still have four fucking minutes with you and he's already got his shit up. So we better fucking jump over there. What the fuck? I lost her. Oh my gosh. I just, I just lost She Monkey. All right. So... I guess this is a good time for us to go over to go stream. So I just fucking lost She Monkey. So today we're going to say. Hmm. I don't know what we're going to fucking say. Chug. Uh, what are we going to say tonight? Ghost, give me a word of the night. Nope, you're not allowed. Uh, let's see. Jedi Ashley. Tell me what you want us to say. You lies you do, everyone does. I mean, mistress, sometimes it happens. So she fucking lost Skype or something. What the fuck? Everyone wears pants. No pants. It's a pants off dance off. Just saying. Uh we're we're gonna use ghost is eager. Use uh ghost is eager in the channel. Here, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, oh fuck, I put the wrong thing on. There you are. Are we back? Are we back? We're back! Hey, so we're gonna use Ghost is Eager in the chat. Um, Ghost is Eager? Yeah, Ghost is Eager. Oh. Ghost, oh. Ghost is Eager is what we're gonna use in the chat. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna raid my amazing wonderful gorgeous stream partner ghost gt27 they're gonna go over there and ghost and she are gonna play some titanfall 2 i'm not allowed to play because i i don't have the game and i don't have an xbox i wish you had the game show i really do yeah i know and i love you Shel. i love you too we'll play something together soon yeah i know but and i mean i have a pc and that's all i that's all i get so and I wish my PC was better at PC games, but uh, it doesn't seem to be. It happens. It's alright. Let's take one more shot before we go on this little mini raid. Cheers! 
Cheers, cheers, cheers. All right, love you, bye. All right, guys. Ghost is eager is what you're going to use in a sentence when we go on this raid. She monkey. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. This has been such an insightful, um, an insightful, insightful interview. Word for it. it really has been. It's been a very insightful interview. We've gotten to know you on such a, a personal level that like I personally, I feel like I, I've known you for years now. I'm just saying. You love me, don't I you? I do love you. She monkey. Oh. She monkey, I love you. Oh, I love you. I love too. you so much, girl. <laughs> oh, 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 damn. All right, guys. I love you guys all so much. I will see you on the other side of the safe zone. Bye bye. All right. All right, so we're going to jump off.